everybody. It's me, Susan Blackwell, and I'm here in Tompkins Square Park, uh, rocking the dog run with one of my favorite weirdos, Zachary Quinto. It's and, Quinto. Huh? It's Quinto. My I researcher told that. me that the correct pronunciation was Zachary Quinto. <laughs> it's that too. All right, good. When you want it to be. Uh, full disclosure, we do not have a dog at the dog run today, and we are just here stalking other people's dogs. Hopefully like we don't get evicted. Two pedophiles at a playground. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hi. So, um, my husband and I don't have a dog, but we have this game that we like to play, and um, it's sort of a fake game show, and it's called Name That Dog. Oh, okay. And the way that it works is, um, first you go, you see a dog and you go, together you go, Name That Dog, and that's like the studio audience, right. and then immediately following, we both simultaneously call out the name that we would give the dog. Okay. Do you understand the rules? I, I think I, I think I get it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Name, Name that, that dog, Bruiser. What was yours? Shriver. You did great. Let's do another one. See that little one by the picnic table? Uh -huh. The white one? Ready? Name, Name that, that dog, dog butthole. <laughs> You're gonna do great at this game. You're gonna sweep this game. That's kind of awesome. It's a, it's a. I was totally... more graphic than you were though. Yeah. So you're doing Angels in America at the Signature Theater, and you're playing Lewis. And I love this play. I've yeah. studied this play. I, I just adore this play. You know what's awesome about your production? There's an extremely high dinger content, high dinger ratio. There's a lot of dinger activity it's going just on. Fascinating. Is that is that more than is that more dinger you've seen in other productions of this play? I think it was because I was so close, and I could really take it in and just really check out shapes and uh, some of them are more well lit than others. I feel mm -hmm. like I get the sort of best end of the deal in terms of lighting. I fully saw your dinger. You did. Uh huh. I like to pretend people can't see it. Well, keep on pretending. <laughs> <laughs> and our stage manager will move me around based on like where the shadows are in that scene. And so I'll get notes every now and again. She'll be like, just a little more Just like two stage. inches. And, I, and then I'm starting to feel like, wait a minute. Is she trying to get you yeah. into the shadow or into right. the light? I think I've, I've been operating under the assumption she's been trying to get me into the shadow, but. She's getting you into the light, buddy. You have like very, you have tremendous <sighs> eyebrows. Serious, serious brows, so. If you just let them run wild, what would happen? I probably couldn't see you. No. Do you have like those grow. crazy eyebrows that are just like no, but that's they would what grow when into you get your older. eye? When you get older, your eyebrows stop falling out. Oh. And that's why older gentlemen that's have bushy eyebrows. That's a wealth eyebrows. of information about eyebrows. I'm a wealth of information, period. But how much time? Eyebrows. How much? How much time a day you spend on those eyebrows? A day? Yeah. Not every day. Come on. Not every day. I spend, like one, two well, hours. Well, it's to the point now. <laughs> are you kidding me? You aren't kidding me. I should learn this by now. Your eyebrows should get a publicist. They might already have one. I might insure them. <laughs> really? You know, maybe. Lloyd's of London insurance. Lloyd's of insurance. Lloyd's insurance. Eyebrows. My eyebrows. Hey, name that, that dog, dog John peanut butter. Hancock. John Hancock is specific. He signed the Declaration of Independence. But ill suited for that dog. Doesn't he seem like a wizened old colonial forefather? I'm gonna ask to again. Sell me on that. He's Judges. The I'm sorry, they're John giving Hancock it to me. No, nope, they're giving it to no. me. Sorry. They didn't even, didn't even, huh? didn't even hear you. We don't You're even have judges. judges. The imaginary judges give that round to me. All right, all right. I've got some <laughs> jokes. I don't think they're good. Star uh, Trek jokes. Yeah, Star Trek jokes. Um, uh, what does a Vulcan wear to read? Spocticles. It's a good one. Um, where does the Borg go for lunch? Borger King. It's also a good one. Um, and by I could use the term good very loosely. Um, how many ears does Spock have? Two. Three. Three. The left ear, the right ear, and the final front ear. <laughs> That's actually a really good That's one. That's a great one. That's a really good For one. For a third grader, it's a really, really the great one. The final front ear. Yeah. Oh, oh, you oh my doing God. Ready? Oh, ready? What are Here you we go. Doing? Name, Name that dog. Slee stack. Underbite. Underbite. Name, Name that dog. Kerouac. Dairy Queen. Swiffer. Frisky. Dinosaur Jr. Chris Pine. Dinosaur Senior, you win that. Come say hi, buddy. Hey. 
I think that's a lady dog. Lady dog. Yep, lady oh, dog. and there she goes. Work it out. Work it out, lady. I hear that you have maybe just a, a back pocket aspiration to host Saturday Night Live. Yes. Or maybe I a front do. pocket it's aspiration. A, it's a it's my third final frontier aspiration. To you got to you're going to have to get new goals cuz they're going to let you host and then you're going to um, do you do any impressions? Uh, um, do you? No. What do you think qualifies you to host Saturday Night Live? My enormous charm and wit. <laughs> Clap it up. You got something there. Do you um, do a Pittsburgh accent? I totally do a Pittsburgh accent. This accent, I can't do it. It makes me laugh. Have you been down there to Pittsburgh? I'm going this weekend. Get out of here. Yeah. I used to go down there all the time. What'd you do down there? I'd go down there and get fries at Dana O, and then go sit down there and, and eat them while I was watching, waiting for the Steeler game to start. Oh. Get chip chop ham sandwich and drink some Iron City beer down there and go up the mall on that, you know? It's cool. What's the name of the city? Pittsburgh. Down there. Going over the mall, going up the mall. Yeah. Down in Pittsburgh, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I do pretty good imitation of you. Can I see? Do you want to see it? Please. Hold on one second. <clears throat> hey, everybody, I'm Zachary Kindle. That's pretty really... good. Now I want to make up with you. I don't blame you. Yeah, really You're a man of taste and style. Aroused by that impersonation, <laughs> that, that uncanny expression hear, of you, me. Do you want more? No, I'm good. Are you good? If you weren't off Broadway, Zachary Quinto, what do you think you'd be doing with your life? Um, I, I, I very well may have been. Uh, I have a real keen interest in psychology. Yeah. I could see myself being like a. A shrink. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could see you and me being in practice together me as too. shrinks. We should ha we should open a practice. We shouldn't get any sort of licensing or credentials or training. We could do it here at the dog park. We could. It's like we that. could be dog therapists. Well, that's a whole different. I mean, Maybe that's our sitcom pilot. Have your girl call dog my therapists. Girl. Yeah. All right, I'm on it. I just want to read an excerpt from an email that you sent me. <laughs> Please don't lick my face when we do our side by side. I may reflexively punch you. X's and O's, Zachary Quinto. <laughs> Let me see. Let me no, see how it looks. That's what, no, that's what you wrote. So, I would never punch you. Oh, that's sweet of you to say. <laughs> now, see, now you're, you're like well, courting like, it. I feel like, listen, I, I feel like. I'm not gonna, I'm not licking you. I'm not licking you. Can touch your junk? <laughs> Give you a hand. <laughs> <laughs> what if you give your hands in the corner? Smash it like pancake? The dog part. If I just smash it like pancake on this picnic table. <laughs> please do, please. Really? Yeah. You let me smash it like pancake? How do you smash it like a pancake? Uh, you lay on the table, then I smash it like pancake. Really? Uh, just lay on the table, I guess. I don't know. I'm making this up. Oh my god, you're so willing. Ready? You better look that way. Or I'm gonna make out with you by accident. This is great. Well, <laughs> this has been another awesome episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell. I feel like ah. I like to say. <laughs>